So my sister made me this sweater. It's very nice. She knitted it. And it has me thinking about gifts and has me thinking about something that has bothered me ever since I um, really noticed it, which is that there seems to be this split between how we perceive how relationships are supposed to be with those close to us and how we interact with the world. What I mean by that is that, you know, in with our relationship to the world, we have the selfish gene theory, which is where we exploit everything as much as we can. And we have, um, you know, capitalism, which is also we exploit, not coincidentally, we exploit everything as much as we can. But then we're supposed to switch around and in personal relationships, you know, if you're sitting around the table and, you know, somebody says, could you please pass the potatoes? You know, Junior doesn't say that'll cost you a dollar fifty. It's within within a family, we understand than any sort of reasonably functioning family, we understand that the community is based on a gift economy where everyone is giving to everyone else. And there's a split where with the outside world, we're supposed to um, simply take as much as we can from everybody as much as we can. And I think that's the wrong way to look at the world. And I think the way to look at the world is to say, wow, this, this world gave me life and what can I do for this world? And this world gives me water that is wonderful to drink and what can I do for this world to thank it for that? And what can I give it in kind or not in kind, but how can I give the world what it needs as it is giving me what I need? And it gives me food and what can I do to give it what it needs um, that is commensurate with the gift of it giving me food, not how can I make it give me more food, not how can I act such that, you know, I can take more food from ever more areas, but instead, what can I give to this place that helps this place as much as it helps me? And, I think that there's a, a wonderful line I've mentioned before. Um, Charlotte Perkins Gilman said that, you know, the Buddha went out into the world and saw that everyone was, was eating each other. And that was horrifying. And she turned it around and said that she looked at the world and everyone was feeding each other and it was good. And so that's always a question I think about wherever I live, is what can I do for this land that is commensurate with the gifts that it gives me for, that helps me live.